Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to add the data mining tool add-in into Excel for our class. Now, uh, there's you might have watched the previous video. This data mining tool add-in for Excel connects up to SQL Server to analyze the data inside of Excel. SQL Server is another program that has some really cool analysis capabilities. Now, uh, you e have two options. Either you can install SQL Server on your computer and connect to it, uh, or, as we'll show in this tutorial, you can connect up to a SQL Server application we have running online. Now, there are some disadvantages to connecting to our server online. First, this server will only be running for these few weeks in class. Uh, after class is over, we'll take it down so you lose access to all these really neat uh, data analysis and analyses that you're going to be doing. And so if you want to have uh, SQL Server, uh, access to SQL Server longer so you can do the data mining when the semester is over, you will want to install SQL Server on your computer. And there are some other videos on Learning Suite right here that uh, teach you how to do that, what to download and how to install those. Uh, the second disadvantage of this approach I'll show you right now, connecting to our server online instead of installing it yourself, is that um, it's a server online that we created that has limited throughput. In other words, if everyone tries to connect up to it, it's going to reject everyone's. It's going to be too full or run really slowly. So there's a chance it may be down. There's a chance that it may be overloaded and won't accept yours. Uh, requests, etc. So if that's uh, the case, then then you're sort of out of luck or have to go to a computer lab. Okay. If you don't want to ever run into that problem again, just install SQL Server on your computer through these videos up here. Um, and then you'll never have to worry about the internet being down or being too busy. Um, you can also work on it without any internet connection if you install it on your own computer with the approach I'm now going to show you does require you have an internet connection. Okay, with those disclaimers, let me teach you how to um, install the Microsoft add -in, or Excel data mining add-in and how to connect it to our servers. Now, an advantage of this approach is it's incredibly easy. Uh, all you do, first, let me here's a uh, learning suite for this year. Uh, up top, I have uh, a link to the Microsoft add-in. You can also just Google, if you don't see it on your learning suite, just Google um, Microsoft SQL Server 2012 Data Mining Excel add-in. I'm just going to click on this, though. Here we go. And actually, I want to click it and open it in a new tab. So let me go back so that we don't lose access to where we're at. So I'm going to right-click on this and say Open a New Tab. You'll see that I, uh, this is what you'll Google if you don't see it in your uh, learning suite, Microsoft SQL Server 2001 Data Mining Add-in Excel. And you want this version, the one that doesn't say 2010 or 2012, just where it says Microsoft Office. Uh, so the link leads you right here. Click Download. Um, I'm going to click the 86 version. There's an 86 and 64-bit versions. Now, this isn't what your computer is. Uh, most of you will have 64-bit computers, but it's what version of Microsoft Excel you have, whether it's designed to be an 86 or 64-bit. Um, most often, you have an 86 version. That's what I have, not a 64 for Excel. Um, what I recommend doing is downloading the 86, trying to install it. If it installs, it works. And, and you're done. If it says you don't have the right framework, then uh, go and download the 64-bit version and try that. Um, I know mine's an 86 version, so let me click Next. Okay, and you'll see it has what, zero seconds left, so it's downloaded. Let me go ahead and click on it now. And I'm making sure Excel's closed, and I'm going to click Run. This is just my download, and it says blah, blah, blah. Let's install. Just click through everything. Um, be sure on this window right here, you also click on will be the data mining client for Excel will be installed on local hard drive. That's the only change you need to make and push install. Now this may take a minute. Why don't I pause it for just a second and we'll resume once it installs. Okay, it's now installed. I'm just going to click finish and now I open up Excel. 
There's Excel opening up. Just click a blank workbook for now. You'll notice there's a new tab up here called Data Mining. <coughs> if you don't see that new tab, you may need to enable it. So you can right click somewhere over here, Customize Ribbon, click Add Ins, and then go to Com Add Ins. And make sure these two things are selected. Um, however, if it is installed, you don't have to do that. If those are clicked and still not showing up, make sure data mining is clicked. Uh, so just right click over here again, customize ribbon. Make sure data mining is clicked there as well. <coughs> but again, if it's already up there, data mining, you're done. You don't have to worry about that. So what I'm going to do here now is click on the data mining add-ins DB. I already have a few things here. Let me delete them. And so yours, I'll show you again, click on this data mining, this it says no connection now, it looks like a some type of tool and a server. Click on that and it should have nothing here. Click on new. Now what you need to do is go back to learning suite and to option two and <coughs> for the underneath server, copy, whoop, I actually have to go to student view to be able to copy things. So I'm gonna click on student view. Okay, here we are again. Copy this server URL. Now you may see several server URLs there. Um, right now I only have one up. If there's several, just pick one of them. Um, just pick one of them. I don't care which one. If we have several, it's because we're trying to distribute the load a little bit, meaning um, more servers, the more traffic we can handle. Uh, if you only see one, just select one. If you see multiple, uh, select randomly select one. Try your best to be random in your selection. Once you have that URL, come back here. Whoops, I need to go back to this window and copy and paste that into the server name. Next, Oops. come back and copy the username and password. And the username on Learning Suite is Infosys. And the password, again, look on Learning Suite to see what your username and password are. It might change from time to time. So look on Learning Suite. And once I have that, I'm going to click on this catalog name. And this is where we get the big test. If that pops up, we've won. It's The game's over. It works. I'm going to click, click DB Add-ins um, DB. And I'm just going to click OK and close. And now it's, it's all working. We're done. Just to show you, let me open up some of our test data we'll work on in class. And forecasting and table analysis tools and... I'll run a forecast analysis here. Run. And working slowly, working slowly. There we go. Um, it does work a little slower because we're connecting up through the internet. If you had it on your own computer, you, you would run faster. So yeah, it, it works, and that's all that's to it. We'll talk with you later.